It's a huge day for basketball in Canada. The CEBL is tipping off in their fourth season. They'll be playing a record 100 games in just over 69 days. Plus, they're adding three new franchises to the league. I had the chance to speak to the commissioner about growing the game in the country. Incredibly excited. We have three games on the slate tonight. I can't be in all three places. So <laughs> at this point of the year, it's just kind of we got everything, everybody working together for a common goal. And that's, you know, returning to play uh, four season coast to coast, three new teams and in front of fans. So I couldn't be more excited. What's it been like bringing in three new franchises into this organization? Well, it's really been something we've intended to do. And when the timing was right, we did it. Most people would think you got through COVID two years. When, how can the timing be right? But, <laughs> but really, I think that speaks to fundamentally why we built the CBL and the reasons for it and the growth of Canadian basketball and adding more jobs for players and coaches, etc. So people have seen it and people are now investing in it. And, and that's what leads us to believe that we're not going to stop up here. Six years ago, you kind of started to develop this. Is this where you intended it to be in six years? Are you past your expectations? I think we're a little ahead of the curve. And, and who would have thought that, you know, given what we've gone through? But I think that speaks to the values we had and, and the business plan we put uh, put in place at the very beginning. We, we really haven't strayed from it. We believe that we're fundamentally here to showcase our best Canadian athletes and to develop our next core of Canadian athletes and help support Canada basketball and the, and the uh the national teams and and just the ecosystem in general so uh it, we are ahead of the curve a bit but that's okay i've just to change my goals and now we're, we're going in a, an even higher direction a lot of excitement surrounding this league especially the new scarborough franchise which you have uh, raptors like assistant coach former nba player on there you also have kyle alexander who's part of the national team squad and jay cole yes. what's it been like uh kind of with dealing with, I guess, the aftermath, and I mean this in the most positive ways, but I'm sure you've got a few emails or two or people asking for tickets. It has been overwhelming, to say the <laughs> least, but all in a very yeah. positive way. And, and really, you know, Jay's a tremendous person. Uh, he's here for his his personal reasons that align with ours. He's here to, he wants to play basketball, wants to start a career. The fringe benefits of that are incredible, probably more than I ever uh, thought they would be, but they shine a light on Canadian basketball. They shine a light on the CBL. They shine a light on our players. I couldn't ask for anything more to get you know our season started and uh, and I hope that people come out and continue to watch. And before tip off of their inaugural season the Scarborough Shooting Stars also announced they signed former Toronto Raptor Jalen Harris to a contract for the 2022 season. For City News I'm Lindsay Dunn.